For major news related to the Arizona Republican Party, former President Donald Trump will not be in Arizona for the party's Freedom Fest tomorrow. That event is now canceled. Now, all of this is in the wake of the fallout of that leaked recording between the now resigned chair and Carrie Lake, where he appears to offer a payout for her not to enter the Senate race. Rachel Louise Just with ABC 15's political team breaks down what comes next for the party. Republican leaders from around the state have to find a chair who can raise money and lead the party to victory. Unfortunately, I don't think our state party is super well prepared financially at the moment. This Saturday, that chair could be chosen at the Arizona GOP's mandatory biannual meeting. And we are a bit in disarray. One consultant, Chuck Coughlin, who has worked in Arizona politics since 1985, says the Republican Party of 2024 looks radically different than it did when he started. For them to get back to that, I think they got to burn this to the ground and start over again and uh, look at the embers and do the forensic analysis of what's happened here and decide if they want to be a winning party. Republican insiders say there's been a splintering within the party between those more MAGA or Trump supporting and those more moderate. They have to raise money and already they have turned off the voter the donor class. Look back at the cold, hard data from the last few years, and MAGA leaders have struggled to bring in the cash. During the 2022 election cycle, the AZ GOP raised just above $3 million. That might sound impressive, but compare it to the 2018 election cycle, before Arizona's Republican Party had so-called MAGA leadership, and they brought in about $8.7 million. For perspective, the bank account of the state party pales in comparison to how much a county party is bringing in. At the end of 2022, the Yuma County GOP took in almost $9.7 million. Almost all of that coming from the Republican Governors Association, which is on record saying it doesn't trust the AZ GOP. And all of that dwarfed by what Arizona Democrats took in in 2022, nearly $49 million. It was hard enough for Jeff DeWitt to raise money. And now it's like they've just put a big cap on the spigot and said, you know, no moss unless there is some radical shift. And it's not just money. Major elections in Arizona have seen wins for Democrats since 2018. And you can see that Trump is and the MAGA narrative is having a hard time narrating a successful campaign uh, narrative to, to that part of the constituency. That votes. However, many polls show promise for Trump in a head-to-head -head race with President Biden. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Rachel Louise Just.